Welcome back sa Electrical Circuits 1. Mag-solve tayo ngayon ng problem sa basic laws. Problem 1, find the currents and voltages in the circuit. So, meron tayo ditong circuit. We have 5 volt source and then series yung 2 ohm na load natin. Tapos, parallel si 8 ohm resistor and then meron tayong 4 ohm resistor. Tapos, sa kabila meron tayong source na 3 volts. Kapag nagsasolve tayo ng problems on basic laws, basic laws, ang mga gagawin natin is first to create systems of equations in terms of voltages and current. Gagamitin natin first yung Ohm's law, next yung KCL, and then KVL. So, from that, makakapag-create tayo ng systems of equations wherein makukuha natin yung mga currents and afterwards, yung mga voltages. Sa pagkuha ng currents and voltages from the systems of linear equations, pwede tayong gumamit ng iba-ibang technique. Ako, ang ginagamit ko and recommended ko is gumamit tayo ng Kramer's Rule kasi mas madali siyang gamitin at ma-apply natin kapag yung mga equations natin ay mas marami sa 3. Okay, umpisahan natin. So, una, create muna tayo since sinahanap dito yung mga voltages and currents dito sa ating circuit, yung mga V sub 1, V sub 2, V sub 3, yun yung mga voltages na hinahanap. And yung mga currents is I sub 1, I sub 2, and I sub 3. Kung mapapansin nyo, naka-designate na or nakalagay na yung current direction at saka yung mga direct, uh, polarity ng mga voltages. In some cases, hindi nakalagay yung mga yan, so ikaw ang maglalagay. So, unahin natin yung application or apply natin yung Ohm's law. Okay. 1, Apply Ohm's law. So, okay, ko A na lang to. Ang ko siya. Okay. So, apply natin Ohm's Law. Okay. Sa pag-apply ng Ohm's Law, titignan natin yung mga reference polarity natin, yung direction, no? Kailangan pa rin natin silang subdan. So, V sub 1 is equal to okay, V sub 1 is equal to Okay. So, that is 2 times uh, V is equal to IR. So, that is 2. Dadaan na current sa kanya ay I1. So, 2 times I sub 1. And then, V sub 2 is equal to, okay, positive, negative, so positive, 8 times yung dadaan na current sa kanya, 8 times I2. And then, V sub 3 is yung resistor natin na 4 ohms, positive siya kasi from positive to negative, and then yung dadaan na current sa kanya, which is I sub 3. So, ito yung equation A natin. Mamaya kasi bawalikan natin yan, gagamitin natin siya to get the voltages, okay? Next na gagawin natin is to apply KCL. So, yun na muna. Apply muna tayo ng KCL. So, B, apply KCL. Pero pipili tayo ng node. At node, let's see, pangalala natin yung node natin na A. So, uh, lagay tayo ng node A. Okay, syempre kung saan, uh, isa lang naman ang node, I mean dalawa. Pero dito naman nag-meet yung mga current natin. So, pangalala natin siyang node A. So, yun yung magiging reference natin para makapag-create tayo ng Kirchhoff's current law. Okay? So, again, yung mga sign convention natin according to Kirchhoff's current law. Okay? Summation of current. Entering to a node, through a node is equal to zero. Entering or leaving. So, Ito, yung mga entering na lang sa node A is positive. So, I1 positive. Tapos, yung dalawa leaving. So, I sub 1 minus I sub 2. Okay, leaving kasi si ano eh. Si I sub 2 at saka si I sub 3. So, minus I sub 3 is equal to 0. So, this is our equation B. Ayan, kailangan natin mamaya yan. And then, proceed tayo sa pag apply ng KVL. Okay? Pero, kailangan, maglagay muna tayo ng loop. Okay? Maglagay tayo ng loop. So, ang loop natin ay, ikaw ang maglalagay ng direction, uh, ikaw ang bahala sa direction. So, ang 
laksanayan ko na, or pwede nyo rin gamitin, is clockwise. Okay, KVL tayo at loop 1. Okay, KVL at loop 1. So, at 1. Loop 1. Ayan. So, ano yung uh, KVL equation natin? So, this is negative 5 volts. Okay, plus lahat dapat voltages, plus V sub 1, and then plus V sub 2. Okay, tapos balik ulit, so equate to 0. So, we can write that in terms of, pwede na natin isubstitute yung mga nasa A. Okay, para yung mga equations natin maging in terms of current sila. So, substitute A. Ngayon na lang. So, negative 5 plus, what is V sub 1? 2 of I i1 plus uh, to 8 i sub 2 so equal to 0 so this is our equation a b c equation c so mamaya na lang natin lagay minsan yung mga equation name so at loop 2 na tayo okay at loop 2 ito naman so that is negative 3 okay and then, negative V sub 2. And then, positive V sub 3. Equal 0. And then, substitute A. Substitute. And A ule So, magiging negative 3 minus i sub 2 is 8i2 and then v sub 3 is plus 4i3 okay so yeah. so na create na natin yung mga kailangan nating equations ang susunod na gagawin natin is to rewrite okay yung mga equations natin in terms of a matrix kasi magagamit natin yon para mas mapadali yung paghahanap natin ng mga unknowns. Okay. So, write na lang natin. Ito yung mga kailangan natin bale. Si equation A, ito yung kailangan natin para makuha yung mga voltages. Equation B, C, and D. Kung mapapansin nyo, equation B in terms of I1, I2, I3, C, I1, and I2, and D, I2, and I3. So, itong tatlong yan, yan yung magiging uh, equation natin. Systems of uh, linear equation na kung saan ang mga unknowns natin ay I1, I2, I3, which is tatlong variable, and we have three equations. So, three equations, three unknowns. Arrange natin lang sila in terms of I1, I2, and I3. So, I... Okay, so, three I... 1 minus I2 minus I3 is equal to 0. And then yung equation C, ganun din. Um, 2I1, arrange natin. Uh, nasa isang column yung mga I1. And then I2. So, walang I3. So, 0 lang yan. Equals negative, magiging positive. And then equation D. So, walang I1. Meron tayong negative 8I sub 2 plus 4I sub 3. Then, equals 3. Ayan. So, ito na yung ating uh, systems of linear equation. Then, yun i-convert natin siya into into matrix. So, ayan na lang natin. Gawin natin siyang matrix. So, that is... Kunin natin yung mga coefficients muna. Okay. 1. Ito 1. Ito 2. And then, ito ay 0. And then, ito ay negative 1. Ito ay 8. Ito ay negative 8. And then, yung pangatlo is negative 1, 0, and 4. Okay? Tapos, lalagay natin yung mga variable na inahanap natin. I1, I2, and I3. Equals yung mga constant sa kabilang side which is 0, 5, and 3. Ayan. Yun yung magiging basis natin.